Hello, my friend, in the entertainment world, there are times when famous stars suddenly lose their fame in the blink of an eye. They may have built their careers through years of dedication, but one wrong move can shatter it all. Let's explore 20 famous stars who have self-destructed their careers in just a few seconds. Rebecca Gayhart, born on August 12, 1971, in Hazard, Kentucky, is an American actress and model. She began her career as a model and transitioned to acting in the 1990s. Her career continued to flourish in the early 2000s with appearances in movies like From Dusk Till Dawn 3, The Hangman's Daughter and Valentine. In June 2001, Rebecca Gayhart accidentally struck and killed a third grader crossing a Los Angeles street. People report that it was the star's alleged negligence that led to the tragedy, with police noting that several cars had stopped for since then, Gayhart's work has mostly been relegated to TV movies, guest, starring roles in TV shows and a handful of single seasons of television projects such as Dead Like Me and Vanished. And the reason I did that is because Chrysalis needed money to keep their doors open and the work they do is so important. And when someone works for something as they do at Chrysalis, they do all the work. We offer them the opportunity. Gary Busey, born William Gary Busey on June 29, 1944, in Goose Creek, Texas, has had a multifaceted career in the entertainment industry. His journey spans acting, music, and reality television. Busey's acting career took off in the 1970s with notable roles in films like The Buddy Holly Story 1978, for which he earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Unfortunately for the star, a stubborn stance and an instant disaster ended his shot at ever returning to that stratum of success. Fast forward to December 1988. Buzi was involved in a motorcycle crash without a helmet. He needed hours of neurosurgery to remove blood clots from his brain. Thankfully, Buzi survived. But after the accident, he struggled with drug addiction and still refused to wear a helmet. His career since the crash has been relegated to cameos and television work. No, you went to the wrong guard cell. That wasn't me, that was Nick Nolte. Sir. It's because I wear an invisible helmet. You can't see it. Brandy Rayana Norwood, known anonymously as Brandy, was born on February 11, 1979 in Macomb, Mississippi, USA. She is a multifaceted artist renowned for her contributions to the entertainment industry. Brandy was an IMB and pop sensation in the late 1990s and early 2000s. She had hit songs, won a Grammy for The Boy Is Mine, starred on a popular TV series with Moshe. In December 30, 2006, Brandy was driving at 65 MPA in Los Angeles when her 2007 Land Rover accidentally hit a 2005 Toyota Corolla with people noting that this led to a chain reaction crash that involved two other cars. Tragically, the driver of the rear-ended Toyota Awatefa Budiha was killed in the accident. Brandy was not charged, but later settled a wrongful death lawsuit with Abudiha's two children. However, the star's career never recovered after the tra- A great team of people to work with me. The producer's nephew. There could be. Could be. There were a few right. songs left on the table, for okay. sure. James Ajimi is a fascinating character with a compelling life story. He was born on October 15, 1971, in the bustling city of New York. Jimmy's career took off in the late 90s when his band released their debut album, which quickly gained popularity. Known for his charismatic stage presence and unique songwriting style. Well, he was forced out after making some racist comments on air in 1988 claiming, among other things, that black athletes left no sports jobs for white people except coaching. As if that weren't bad enough, he alleged that black Americans were better athletes than white athletes because of physical traits bred into them during slavery, per the Los Angeles Times. Dude, seriously? <laughs> Natalia kills. Born Natalia Noemi Keary Fisher was born on August 15, 1986 in Bradford, West Yorkshire, England. She is a British singer, songwriter, actress, and record producer. Kills gained attention for her edgy and provocative style in the music industry. In any case, the pair appeared to needlessly rip into a contestant in a 2015 audition. Kills alleged that contestant Joey Irvine, who simply wore a suit and sang for his audition, was copying her husband per the Daily Mail. She said, you're a laughing stock. It's cheesy, 
it's disgusting. I personally found it absolutely artistically atrocious. With these remarks, the couple effectively killed their careers. They were fired from the show, according to People, with a Chief Media Works exec stating that their destructive tirades against the contestant were completely unacceptable. Yeah, and then you ask me, okay, what kind of trouble is the name of the song, and then I'll tell you what the song was about. Okay, so he was kind of stuck like glue by proxy. Howard Brush D. Nye was born on November 17, 1948, in East Hampton, New York, USA. He is a prominent American politician and physician. Dean served as the 79th governor of Vermont from 1991 to 2003. Howard Dean was a favorite to win the Democratic nomination for president in 2004. That is, until the former Vermont governor gave a speech at the Iowa caucus that January and delivered the scream heard around the world. His over-enthusiastic, yeah, after telling the crowd they were going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House, reverberated as a global joke, essentially ending his chances at ever winning the White House. ABC News reports that the media replayed the so-called Dean Scream gaffe constantly, with everyone from Dave Chappelle to Diane Sawyer offering commentary on it. Dean dropped out of the race a month later. Well, I mean, I think there was a lot of people who got pieces of information out there right. that nobody knew anything about. Down on the totem pole that, that's at one or two percent right now, I think two or three of them were going to emerge. BB whose real name is Bobby Ray Simmons Jr., was born on November 15, 1988, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, USA. He is a versatile artist known for his skills as a rapper, singer, and record producer. Rapper B.O.B. has laid low since his smash hit, Airplanes, in 2010, but he really cemented his status as a flop when he tweeted in January 2016 that the Earth is flat. As if that wasn't bad enough, B.O.B. got some heat from astrophysicist and cosmologist Neil deGrasse Tyson, who tried explaining to him that the planet is actually pretty round. Being five centuries regressed in your reasoning doesn't mean we all can't still like your music. B.O.B. responded with the diss track Flatline, which features a recording of Tyson discussing the formation of the Earth. It was the most listens the rapper had attracted since 2011, but not for the right reasons. <laughs> God, man, I just want a different app. Like, we gotta get it. And then talk about what you have going on from now until the future. Um, but I want to start. Sinead O'Connor, born on December 8, 1966, in Glenageary, County Dublin, Ireland, is a renowned Irish singer songwriter. Known for her distinctive voice and powerful lyrics, O'Connor gained international fame in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Sinead O'Connor was banned from Saturday Night Live after she tore up a picture of Pope John Paul. E.I. during her a cappella rendition of Bob Marley's War in 1992 and told the audience, fight the real enemy. But the sacrilegious act protesting child abuse within the church did more than just get the bald-headed singer booted from late-night TV. According to The Atlantic, O'Connor was instantly reviled. At one demonstration, piles of her records taped and CDS were crushed by a steamroller. And it took only a year before she disappeared from the American pop scene altogether. Pretty hood takes on a life of its own, mm. and you know. You but can... for everyone outside, they had But I wonder though. I wonder them. though if you were signed to any other <clears throat> label right now. Oscar Pistorius, born on November 22, 1986, in Santon, Johannesburg, South Africa, gained international recognition as a Paralympic and Olympic athlete. Pistorius was born without fibula leading to a double amputation of his lower legs at the age of 11 months. Per The Telegraph, his participation in the games was not only historic, but the result of a hard-fought five-year court battle that overturned a ruling which deemed his prosthetic legs gave him an advantage. But everything changed within six months when Pistorius was charged with the murder of his model actor girlfriend, Rieva Steenkamp. She was shot and killed by Pistorius on Valentine's Day in 2013 while she was locked in the bathroom of his home. He was convicted of manslaughter. Then a higher court reversed that to murder the following year, which earned him a six-year prison sentence and an untimely end to a once promising athletic career. Me and chosen me and you know, shown that they believe in me. Um, that has added a little bit of this in the Olympics will definitely draw the attention of the Paralympics. And I started my first. Sincere thanks to all the loyal viewers who've watched this entire video. If you enjoyed this content and would like to show your support, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends. Your support truly means a lot to us. 
Stay tuned for more interesting then and now stories coming soon. Until next time.